Unless your final growing site is pretty awesome, you're probably going to want to grow this in a pot or in a garden bed for a year. I prefer to grow them in garden beds because there's a little more buffer for moisture loss. You know, pots can dry out pretty fast. Actually, I'm just not good at growing things in pots. Anything in a pot around me is pretty much in mortal danger. As you can see from these olives behind me, which are years old in gallon pots, and some of them have literally have almost no soil left in the bottom. Anyway, so um, I would prefer to grow this in a garden bed. You can plant it up to about here and it'll sprout roots all along the, uh, the stem here. And that could even happen in the first year, especially on these clonal rootstocks because they're selected for easy rooting. The other thing I wanted to see is this whole inner stem and top completely painted with grafting wax. And that will seal in all the moisture that's in there and give these things time to heal up because we don't really know how long that's going to take. So I think that's a pretty important point. And I use the yellow Doc Farwell's grafting wax. That's pretty much what I use for all my grafting. And uh, other people use this stuff called parafilm, which is a wax impregnated tape that you can just wrap around it. I've, I don't use that. Um, I just haven't used it, but a lot of people really like it. So I'm sure it would work great. The other thing you might consider is putting up some shade just for a while until this top scion really starts to grow. If this is hit like three or four inches long, then you should be safe at that point. But up until then, it just depends on the weather where you live. Here, it can be really sunny and dry in the spring and a little windy. And so that little bit of shade can often make a big difference. Now, if you, uh, if you wrap these really good, that's, you know, they'll probably be all right, but just in case, I'll usually stake this too. So once it's buried in the nursery, I'll put in a bamboo stake and tie it at a couple points and tie it, you know, pretty tight to the stake so it acts like a splint. Once the uh, tree really gets going, that's, it'll be fine and you don't, you don't need to worry about it anymore, but you could still leave the stake as long as the ties aren't constricting uh, the growth of the scion. Speaking of which, um, maybe around July or so, you want to check these and make sure that these ties are not constricting the tree. If they are showing any signs of constriction, or even if they aren't, you can just unwrap them and then rewrap them again a little bit looser. And I would rewrap them though that first time just to make sure because again, they're still pretty tender at that point in, uh, in about July or so. So it's not that hard for them to break. If this is growing vigorously like it should, it'll have, you know, a long top on it and it's going to be catching some wind. This is an inner stem tree I grafted last year, and I did not unwrap it in the summer, but that's because I didn't take very good care of them and they didn't actually even grow that much. So it turns out I probably won't use these trees anyway. So this is a cleft graft at the bottom. And like I said, I, I do prefer to have the stalk and the inner stem the same size. And I do prefer to use a whip and tongue, but in this case, it just didn't work out. And as you can see, it did just fine. There's a lot of new tissue filling in that cleft right there, although it's not finished healing. It should be done by the end of this year. And then up at the top here, we have a whip and tongue graft. And as you can see, there's no exposed wood. It healed really clean and nice. And that's really why I like them better. There's just a little, little tiny bit of exposed wood at the bottom there. It's not a big deal. So I think that's about what I have to offer you on grafting and growing inner stem apple trees. And if you try it, report back, even if it's years from now, or especially if it's years from now, report back and let us know how it goes. I'm pretty excited about it. It solves some major problems for me. And uh, yeah, cool. So look forward to more grafting videos on my channel and visit my website, turkeysong.wordpress.com.